We're going to draw the Lewis structure of SiCl4, or silicon tetrachloride. Now, if you know anything about the periodic table, you know that there's a staircase here that separates metals from non-metals. Silicon is in between the two. It's a metalloid, or semi-metal, which means it's tough to predict whether or not you're going to form ionic or molecular compounds. SiCl4 ends up being a molecular compound. So we're going to draw this the same way we would as if it was carbon tetrachloride, which is also solidly a molecular thing because carbon is solidly a non-metal. Silicon is in group 14 of the periodic table and so brings four valence electrons with it. Chlorine is in group 17 of the periodic table and so brings seven valence electrons, but there are four of them. So I've got to do four times that seven added to the four that silicon brings, that's 32 electrons total. Now, the way I draw molecular Lewis structures is to put my central atom in the center and then surround it with all of the others. I call these the outer atoms. So there's my SI and there's my four CLs. The next thing I do is I connect each of the outer atoms to the center atom because they have to be connected or it wouldn't be a molecule. This is two, four, six, eight electrons that I've already dealt with. Now, I'm going to complete the octet on the outer atoms. Only up to 32 electrons though, because I only have 30 ele 32 electrons to deal with. Again, I have two, four, six, eight to start with. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. I gotta stop there. But luckily for me, I've got a complete octet on each of these chlorine atoms. They are happy and stable. If I had extra electrons, I would dump them on the center atom, but I don't, so I won't. And if I didn't have a complete octet on that central atom, I might move electrons in to form double, triple bonds. But again, the silicon already has eight electrons around it. So its octet rule is satisfied as well. This is the complete Lewis structure for silicon tetrachloride, which is a tetrahedral molecule. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.